Here are 5 ways to make money early game in Pelia. Number 1. Foraging One of the easiest things you can do is forage. You can easily find these glowing gatherables wherever you go. Just pick them up along the way, it won't take too much of your time. There are also some occasional shinier gatherables, which are star quality versions of the item that can sell for more gold. You can keep some for crafting, but you can sell most of what you gathered since there are plenty of gatherables in the world. Number 2. Hunting This is probably everyone's favorite thing to do, because the loot you get from hunting can sell for a lot of gold. You can hunt chapas for their meat, fur, and tail. They are the easiest to hunt with just one hit from a makeshift arrow. You can hunt cernooks for their meat, fur, and antlers. They take two hits from a makeshift arrow, so you need to be ready for a second shot. When you reach level 2 hunting, you can go to Hacien and buy a recipe for standard arrows. These standard arrows are stronger than the makeshift ones and will only take one hit to hunt down a cernook. You can keep the meat for cooking and sell the rest of your loot. Number 3. Bug Catching Pokemon players might appreciate this skill since it feels like you're trying to catch Pokemon. Only you'd be catching just bug types and they're not kept in balls. But anyway, you'll see many little critters roaming around the world. Just take out your bug bombs and try to catch them all. And like the gatherables, you can also see some occasional shiny bugs, which means they are of star quality when caught. Also, you can easily see them at nighttime. You can try going for the garden leaf hoppers that can be found in mirror fields and near Badru's farm at any time. They are an uncommon rarity bug and can be sold for 49 gold each. They are a bit harder to catch than the common bugs, but still fairly easy with just the starter equipment. Number 4. Fishing If you ever get tired of running around, you can do this relaxing activity. There is no competition for the fish spawn unlike in hunting and bug catching, so you can fish all you want since the waters have unlimited fish. And look out for ripples in the water. Fishing in that spot has a good chance to get you a star quality fish. Also try to fish next to a friend or a stranger. You'll get this fishing with friends boost for 10 minutes. It gives 10% reduction in hook time per stack and can stack up to 5 times. It activates when a nearby person catches a fish. You can try catching some cantankerous koi that can be found in the mirror pond ruins, in the pond near Badru's farm, and in the pond at your housing lot. You can catch it without bait during the day and at night and can be sold for 50 gold each. You can keep the fish for cooking or you can sell them as is. Number 5. Gardening Every farming sim player knows the power of gardening for passive income. Till, plant, and water your crops every in-game day, which starts at 6am. And make sure to check for weeds too. Buy seeds at the general store and check the description of each seed. The different types of crops will give special boost to the crops planted beside it, except for the same type. So you can plant where to plant each crop type and make good use of the boosts they give. I like to use this layout for my field, but you can experiment and find out which layout works best for your playstyle. Again, you can keep some of your crops for cooking or just sell them. And that's it! Which activity do you like the most? Share your thoughts and leave a comment down below! Thank you so much for watching! If you like this video, please subscribe and you can check out our other videos here! Bye!